Hi, I'm Elena of PopThePimple.com and today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite brands ever. I'm not sponsored by them, mind you. So this is a very, very honest opinion. Bioderma Call Me. I've so far tried pretty much all Bioderma products and there are three lines that I think you should really know about because they're really, really amazing and today I want to talk about the Hydra Bio line from Bioderma. The products that I'm going to discuss with you today are a sunscreen, a cleanser, their moisturizer, and a moisturizer with SPF. So let's begin with the newest edition. I love Bioderma cleansers and I decided to kind of expand my scope and try new cleansers that I hadn't tried before. And one of them is the Bioderma Hydra Bio H2O Micelle Solution. And as you guys know already, I'm a huge fan of their super famous, super popular Sensibio Micelle Solution, and I have a review video on that. If you'd like to check it out, I'll put a link below. Basically, what it does is it just dissolves everything in one step, and then you rinse everything away. But what I find with this cleanser is that it does leave your skin like and none of the bioderma cleansers i'd say strip your skin but this one in particular almost leaves a film on your skin and i, I it's not really a film though it's more like your skin is a little more hydrated than you would expect it to be after using a cleanser and so for that reason i don't recommend this for people with oily skin so if you are already producing tons of you know, sebum and stuff, I don't recommend a super hydrating cleanser. I generally don't recommend hydrating cleansers ever for any skin, but especially acne prone skin. But this one, um, like I would only recommend if your skin is highly, highly dehydrated, highly, highly flaky, extremely dry, like extremely dry, then this product is for you because it is extremely gentle but it removes everything and it dissolves everything all your makeup like you can just instantly see it on your cotton pad it's really really fast effective but remember with any micelle solution gotta rinse it off yes it's uh, marketed as a non-rinse product. Does it even say here? Non-rinse. Yep, it says non-rinse. Marketed as a non-rinse product, but that's marketing, okay? You have to understand the difference between marketing and reality. Many brands, they sell us dreams, fairy tales. Bioderma, I don't think, is one of these brands. No, 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 but in the case of this being a non-rinse product, bad idea. That's going to clog your pores, leave your skin angry, so don't do that. All right. Next, I'm just kind of doing from newest product to oldies, okay? So the next kind of newest product that I, um, so I guess it's older now than the Hydrobio Micelle Solution, is the Hydrobio Eau de Soin SPF 30. It's a moisturizing anti-UV mist. This is SPF 30 with UVA protection plus PA plus plus plus. <laughs> Does that make sense? So it also has pollution protection. This product is, it's a spray sunscreen product. And you know, initially I was like, oh, I don't know if I like this idea. Like I'm not somebody who likes to reapply sunscreen throughout the day, even though that's a must. It's a must. And the way I would do it is with a powder sunscreen, um, as in a powder that contains sunscreen. But this was just so tempting and so seductive. So I got it. I saw it and I'm like, I must try it. I carry this around in my bag because it fits. It's really small. It's like basically the palm of my hand. It fits everywhere. So it fits in my like little banana bag that I carry around. You can just spray it wherever. It's invisible. It's totally invisible. And like if I'm out at a restaurant or something and I'm sitting on the patio, I just spray my shoulders, my hands, my chest with this. Even one day I was out so long during the day that I'm like, I'm just gonna spray this on my face. And so I did. And I didn't have any weird reactions or anything like that. And so I just sprayed it on top of everything else, on top of my makeup, on top of everything, on top of, you know, sebum and my face was okay. So this is a really, really convenient product. I really love it. Love it. Love it. Can't say anything bad about it. Having a sunscreen 
on the go is the best, right? And so you can spray it on your hands to make sure your hands aren't aging. Throughout the day, you can reapply it. It has a really light texture, but it's just a little sticky. I like to wash my hands after I apply it, but otherwise, great product. Love it. Olena approved. Next, we're going from newest that I purchased to oldies, okay? So this is now, we're getting into a product that I've had like, I've gone through at least six of these, maybe more. This is the Hydra Bio Perfecter SPF 30, which is a smoothing moisturizing care radiance booster. This product is amazing. Basically, when I started taking my sunscreen very, very seriously, this was really my foray into that. I mean, I started with some Paula's Choice sunscreens, but then when I found this, I found myself reaching for the Paula's Choice sunscreen less and less. That's how much I loved this product because though it's supposed to be like a moisturizing care radiance booster, so basically it's like a moisturizer with SPF, I treated it as an SPF. So I would still hydrate lightly underneath because as you know, my three-step moisturization routine that's like now famous, you only need a very little amount of actual moisturizer so you end up using very little product and so with this product i'm generous because it's an spf that's the thing with spf if you want to have good protection you need to apply a generous amount i do like a full generous pump of this it's huge and i apply it to my face generously as my last step before i apply my mineral powder and you know blush and stuff it's a thicker texture it's a creamy texture and yet it doesn't clog pores it has a slight shimmer to it that is very subtle, that just kind of evens out your skin in a really lovely way. The actual product itself is like a pale pink when it comes out with this shimmer. But again, it's very subtle and very beautiful on the skin. I really love it. Like I'm wearing it right now, actually. So in the summer, you could probably wear this alone instead of moisturizing underneath but i'm so uh, obsessed with my moisturization routine that I, I still moisturize when i use this but like i said i only use a tiny amount of actual moisturizer underneath you should watch my moisturization routine video if you want to learn how to moisturize properly so you're not slathering your face with moisturizer and then slathering your face with sunscreen because that would be too much product it's unnecessary now let's talk about my favorite ever probably bioderma product that changed my life well i shouldn't say that it was this one because there's another one that i'm not sure that it's sold everywhere i do have it i don't want to go get it though basically long story short i went through a time in my life where i searched for the perfect moisturizer for like six months and trust me i've tried everything everything at sephora everything at shoppers shoppers drug mart represent toronto Hala Toronto. I'm from Toronto. Technically, I'm from Ukraine, but I grew up in Toronto. I spent the majority of my life in Toronto. Anyway, I found this Bioderma light cream moisturizer and it was amazing. It changed my life. It was like the only moisturizer that actually moisturized. And this was before I was using my three-step system. So imagine even without applying a moisturizer to its maximum capacity the way i know now how to it was still doing a really good job moisturizing my then super dehydrated skin because my skin was coming off of crazy crazy products that i was using in the past that was my foray really into bioderma i knew their cleansers were good but when i started experimenting with their moisturizers i was like thank you thank you thank you this is one that i always have in my arsenal always 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 though i experiment with others this one is the one i keep coming back to it is amazing and it will hydrate my skin in the dead of canadian winter it's that good the ingredients are good everything about this product is good the texture is good everything i cannot say one bad thing about the following product and it is the bioderma hydro bio light something i love about bioderma is that most of their products come in these awesome pumped container so you just pump 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 they're easy to use and you can really control the amount you get and i'll show you how much i use of this product okay to be accurate 
my engagement ring. I use very little of this product. If anybody tells you to use more moisturizer than that, then they just don't know how to moisturize properly. This amount of product, if you follow my three-step moisturization routine, is enough to seal in moisture on your whole face, on your whole face, even if your face is huge. Mine is actually a larger than normal face, I'd say. I will dare say this is the best moisturizer on the market period ever i really believe it again a moisturizer is, is something that i researched more than anything ever like i was insane because if you have a shitty moisturizer then you know how terrible that feels you know your makeup doesn't apply properly nothing works your face cracks in the winter you're flaky like it's the worst not having a good moisturizer oh so this one this one is worth considering and actually i have an em almost empty here my boyfriend and i both use these products like i've hooked him onto it and he has extremely dry and sensitive skin so if he doesn't moisturize his skin just kind of flakes but when he does moisturize, his skin is amazing and plump and awesome. And so he sticks to this one. And he used to use one from La Roche-Posay before we met. And then I'm like, you should try my method. And now he literally sprays his face with water and applies this. He doesn't do the step in between. He's a dude and he kind of doesn't care. But I'm just really proud of him and happy that he actually you know, applies his moisturizer to wet skin as should be done. It's just, I, I don't know any other way. <laughs> and so he actually started using my moisturizer. So in the beginning he was using like these huge pumps of it cause he wasn't using it right. And so I found myself needing to like replenish my stores. I always have a backup of this always. So I found myself needing to replenish my arsenal all the time because he was using globs of it. And then I showed him how to properly use it. And he was just using like a little, you know, pea sized amount. And now this stuff lasts so much longer. So thank you for listening to me, baby. To wrap up, this was my review of the Bioderma Hydro Bio range, which I think is an amazing range for dry dehydrated skin but certain products in this range are actually so good that they could be used on any skin sensitive acne prone even rosacea prone skin yeah some of these products in this range are that good the micelle solution i would just only recommend for people with super dehydrated skin it's not my absolute favorite but again my skin is kind of on the oily side and it's like super you know plump and it's high it hydrates itself so well that it almost it doesn't need extra like in the cleanser hydration. But I also find that if a cleanser is too hydrating, it could actually lead to more clogging and it could also stop the next products like your actives and stuff from working as efficiently as they normally would without that film interrupting the action, you know, the film between the active and the skin. Awesome for removing makeup, but I mean, this is where I would probably double cleanse. If I used this, I would then cleanse with my other Bioderma cleanser and I would feel like my skin is clean without being stripped. But I don't do the double cleanse because my own cleanser is so good that I'm like, I don't need to cleanse twice and use two different products to do it. You know, I'm not a fan of the double cleanse. That's a side note, especially if the double cleanse involves oils, then I'm like... I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you run out and experiment with some Bioderma products and let me know what you think in the comments below or by emailing me at olenaatpopthepimple.com. And if you need help, customizing your own routine because I know it can be really confusing. There's like a bajillion products out there and they each claim to do this or that. Blah, blah, blah. The marketing claims are ridiculous sometimes and I know it can be very confusing and very frustrating trying to find something that actually works for you that it doesn't clog your skin and maintains the integrity of your skin, heals your skin, protects your skin and allows your skin to glow and you know be its best, clearest self. So if you need help in that department, I actually have a routine review service where I review the products that you are using, all the ingredients, everything. I let you know which one of those products is 
you know, causing the problem because oftentimes so many of my clients, it's like their cleanser is too rich or their cleanser isn't properly cleansing like at all. So they end up like having an accumulation of dead skin cells and excess sebum and makeup and stuff on their skin that leads to enormous clogging over time, you know, and they don't know that that's the issue. So I will find the culprit in your routine if there is one. Usually it's actually the whole routine, unfortunately. And then I customize a routine just for your skin type because you know I, I'm not gonna recommend something that I use for you because your skin can be totally different. It could be more sensitive, it could be less sensitive, it could be more dry, more oily, what have you. And so I tailor a routine just for your skin condition right now so that you can reach your hashtag skin goals so you can check that out and you can actually work directly with me we would do a video chat where we would actually see each other it's really cool i've met so many amazing people from around the world my clients have let me into their homes in north america europe even australia so it's been an amazing experience you should check out my routine review service if your routine is something that you're struggling with because for many people it often is and you know instead of just changing up their routine which is actually causing the clogging they look towards other reasons in their lives like you know blocked chakras or food actually food is a big one people usually try to control their food and become very strict about what they eat their supplements and all this stuff meanwhile they're still breaking out even though they're taking the best care of their bodies because they're just not even considering the importance of having a really good skincare routine so now i think you know the importance of having a good skincare routine like it's super important i talk about this all the time it's the simplest step but it's the easiest one to get totally wrong and the wrong skincare routine can actually cause acne it can cause your skin to react so if you're using you know oils on your skin or whatever so no matter how well you're taking care of your body you will not have clear skin if your skincare routine is not supporting your skin since your skin deals with everything every single day you brush your teeth you have to take care of your skin if you don't brush your teeth your teeth are gonna fall out right okay, this was elena of popthepimple.com thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video if you actually liked it and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one i'll see you next time